Okay, so accessing the photo feature is really straightforward. On the first page, we've got two categories, plant room, cylinder location, and also we've got heat pump information as well. So that could be the location of the air source heat pump or even uh, ground loop pipes for ground source heat pumps. Just taking a photograph of the consumer unit um, in the utility room, because I feel this would be important information for a, uh, a designer uh, or installer. And uh, I didn't even use the typing feature of the keyboard. I, I um, used the audio um, button. So I just said said what I wanted to type essentially, um, which is a nice standard feature in, a, in an Apple product. Um, as well as that, I'm showing you the mark out feature for placing an arrow. So um, just really demonstrating that the highlighter tools there um, and, and other text tools are, are, are pretty good to use as well. So this feature is also available for every single room. So um, when you go to the kitchen, for example, here I'm going to take a picture of uh, a radiator just to show everybody what's the uh, uh, style it is and, um, and what type. Um, I'm not going to add any notes in there, so you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, and in this case, I'm taking a picture of a, a TRV um, just to demonstrate, for example, might want to upgrade it uh, to um, a digital type. So here, I'm not using the keyboard again. I'm just I clicked on the microphone and just said what I wanted to have in the notes. So I'm happy with that. That's all good. Um, and you do that for every room. Um, and once you press send all those photographs and notes and markups will be sent to the online account where you'll be able to review them further. In order to view the photographs which the surveyor has sent, um, you'll see them on step one and step three. Step one shows you the um, plant room pictures um, or cylinder locations. So if I click on this picture here, we've got a picture of the boiler and the surveyor's entered the description of that model and make close that down and we've got another picture showing us the the uh, consumer unit location as well close that down the um, notes which I've titled heat pump um, it can be used for air source heat pump proposed locations and also um, useful for the ground loop locations in a field or garden um, so um, ground source heat pumps air source heat pumps you know this is nicely categorized here for you guys um, step three we've got um, a green button which highlights if a photo um, exists for that particular room so if I click on the kitchen click on that green button I can see these are the free photos which have been taken and click on that I can edit the text if I want to the surveyor in this case has actually st stated that there's a radio to cover on one of the radiators in the in the kitchen so um, go back to the list um, click on here as well so I can see that the surveyor has used the markup feature placed a red arrow on there so as well as having text within uh, the inside the photograph marking up you can actually write the description there as well go back to that close that um, if you want to view all the photographs which have been taken taken for this particular property you can get, click on view all and it opens up a the, the list here and you can click on it again so just to edit it so the same features are, are there um, and jump straight to the optional pages um, because you can select which images you want to include in the PDF report download so here we can go to say select all or, or uh, and select so um, we've got that feature there for you guys to because there might not be pictures you want to um, uh, show to a client due to technical um, information that's not necessary for them to to view you might be using the pictures for the installation purposes only um, so it's totally up to you guys if you want to include um, the photos and notes um, and, and of course select which ones you want to uh, include in the download in the uh, PDF report 